Hello friends. Let me welcome you all in our lecture series on IC engines and gas turbines. Today we will be discussing about air fuel mixtures used in SI engines. Initially we will be discussing about the definition of air fuel ratio followed by the different engine conditions which require different types of air fuel ratios. Then we will be discussing about the types of air fuel ratios used in SI engines followed by the different values of air fuel ratios used in SI engines and the inflammability limit for gasoline fuel as used in SI engines. So let us start. Basically what is air fuel mixture? In order to understand what is air fuel mixture let us first start with discussing about uh, what type of mixture is required in case of uh, a SI engine. So we know that air fuel uh, mixture is being prepared outside in outside the engine in case of SI engine and the mixture required is homogeneous. Why it is required homogeneous? Because we know that once the mixture is going into the, into the combustion chamber of SI engine, we have what we call as a spark work spark plug which ignites the mixture. So this spark plug is located at one corner of the combustion chamber and the flame is going to start over there and we expect that that particular flame is going to travel throughout the combustion chamber and in order to ensure this particular continuous traveling of the flame in the combustion chamber we require homogeneous mixture. So that is where the homogeneous uh, nature of the mixture becomes important in case of SI engine. And we also know that these SI engines are preferably of the high speed category. And in this small period of time, we have to ensure that the fuel which has been supplied to the mixture has to be atomized, vaporized and mixed with air properly to form a uh, air fuel mixture of required quality and then this mixture has to be introduced into the combustion chamber of the engine. And now this particular uh, air and fuel when mixed properly is what we call as air fuel mixture. Uh, sorry, weight of air to the proportion by weight of fuel mixed by the carburetor uh, for the uh, combustion for the combustion in SI engines. So that is where we call it as air fuel ratio. Now uh, this the quality of this particular air fuel ratio depends on different engine conditions and what are these different engine conditions? So the different engine conditions which uh, require different types of air fuel ratio are maximum power, minimum specific fuel consumption or maximum economy, starting, idling, low load running, acceleration, part load running or cruising etc. So these uh, many uh, conditions are there which require different quality of mixture in SI engines and that has to be supplied by what you call as a carburetor. So carburetor prepares the mixture as per the requirement and then it supplies to the engine. So moving ahead now let us discuss what these mixtures are classified as. So basically uh, we have different types of air fuel mixtures and to understand uh, air fuel mixture, uh, the types of air fuel mixture, let us discuss what a combustion is. The carb uh, fuel consists of hydrocarbon and all the carbon molecules has to be converted into carbon dioxide or rather it is expected to be converted into carbon dioxide. All the hydrogen molecules are expected to be converted into water. And if this happens, then we say the combustion is complete. So if you want uh, combustion to be complete, uh, it means all the hydrogen and all the carbon uh, molecules has to be converted into water and carbon dioxide. And uh, this requires that uh, this uh, requires that whatever amount of carbon is there proportionally we require to supply oxygen and whatever hydrogen is there proportionally again we require to supply oxygen. So depending on what is the amount of hydrogen and carbon molecules in the fuel, we also requires a proper amount of oxygen molecule for complete combustion. That is where the, uh, the need of the proper air fuel mixture comes into picture. So depending on the amount of air mixed in the air fuel mixture, 
we classify the engines uh, as stoichiometric air fuel mixture, rich mixture, or lean mixture. So let us see what this stoichiometric air fuel mixture is. So stoichiometric air fuel mixture means it is the mixture in which there is just enough air for the complete combustion of the fuel. So as we discussed, what is complete combustion? All the carbon converted into carbon dioxide, all the hydrogen con converted into water. And if this has to happen, then there is some fixed requirement of oxygen coming into picture. And to supply this fixed amount of oxygen, we need to supply some fixed amount of air. Because we know that approximately 21% of the oxygen uh, uh, is available in the air. So correspondingly, we have to supply some amount of fixed amount of air to ensure complete combustion. So uh, this, this is the chemically correct amount of uh, air which is required for the complete burning of the fuel or therefore we call it as a chemically correct mixture or stoichiometric mixture. So stoichiometric mixture is that mixture in which uh, there is just enough air for the complete combustion of the fuel and for a gasoline fuel it is 14.7 as to 1 which means 14.7 units of air is required for the combustion of one unit of fuel that is the meaning of what 14.7 as to 1 means and such a mixture is what we call as stoichiometric mixture now uh, now we uh, go for uh, classifying the mixture uh, on the basis of amount of fuel supplied so here we are saying we have the next type as rich mixture and the rich means in terms of fuel the more fuel we supply we call it as a rich so a mixture in which has uh, it has more fuel or in other words it has less air then than the stoichiometric requirement then it is called as a rich mixture so here we have more fuel or in other words less air and you can see over here what is the amount of air 10 as to 1 that is 10 units of air for one unit of fuel and the stoichiometric was 14 unit 14.7 units of air for a one unit of fuel obviously the amount of air supplied is less in other words we are supplying more fuel than stoichiometric so 10 as to 1 or 12 as to 1 etc these values are what we call as rich mixture and what is a lean mixture then this is the controversy of what rich mixture we are talking of so here a mixture which contains more air or in other words less fuel so when the mixture is lean means we are supplying lean in terms of fuel so a lean mixture contains lesser fuel than stoichiometric uh, in other words we have more air and what is the con uh, amount of air so for example 17 quantity of air uh, units of air for one unit of fuel or 20 quantity units of air for one unit of fuel so 17 as to 1 or 20 as to 1 etc these uh, air fuel ratios corresponds to what you call as lean mixture in other words in simple terms any value uh, bigger than 14.7 if you supply in other words we are saying more air than stoichiometric so 17 as to 1 or 20 as to 1 or 22 as to 1 all becomes lean and any value lesser than 14.7 that is 12 10 9 etc all this becomes rich so if you supply uh, more than 14.7 uh, air then we say it is a lean mixture and if you supply less then we call it as a rich mixture so this is about the quality of the mixture accordingly we will say the mixture is stoichiometric rich or lean now uh, let us discuss what are the different conditions which require uh, the different types of mixtures so uh, uh, basically the amount uh, the quality of the mixture which is being supplied to the engine has to be decided by the con conditions engine conditions which are requiring the mixture for example for engine starting we require a very rich mixture and the richness may be up to 9 as to 1 now why we require rich mixture because we know that during starting the engine is cold and in cold conditions in other words we say uh, the engine is cold means less heat is available with the engine that means fuel is going to get less amount of heat for its vaporization that is latent heat of uh, vaporization available is less that proportion of the quantity of the fuel which is highly volatile are going to only get converted into vapor and 
get burned and in order to increase this smaller quantity of smaller portion of highly volatile components we required to supply more fuel other words in other words we uh, we required to supply rich mixture and the rich, uh, richness required is up to 9 as to 1 the second condition is idling obviously we know that in idling condition the speed of the engine is very less in no load condition engine, engine is running the accelerator is at zero position and therefore uh, the speed is less and when speed is less and if you want to sustain the firing then every stroke we need to uh, produce that much power which uh, are uh, which is required to sustain the firing obviously uh, we require rich mixture over here and the richness required is up to 12 as to 1 in during acceleration obviously within a short period of time we require to move the vehicle uh, at a higher speed and therefore uh, the amount of power required will be more and we require a rich mixture here during economy conditions uh, we require lean mixture here our aim is not uh, power but uh, our aim is economy that means we want to save the fuel so here we, are, we will be supplying lean mixture so economy uh, conditions require lean mixture then we have something called as a power condition so whenever we require power we will be supplying rich mixture now uh, is it that uh, you supply the engine any quality of mixture and it is going to burn let us discuss about that so the answer is no so there is what we call uh, the term coming inflammability limit and what is this inflammability limit and here as shown over here here we have 9 as to 1 to 19 as to 1 shown as inflammability limit and on this side it becomes too lean to burn and here it becomes too rich to burn which means when the amount of air is more than 19 as to 1 the fuel becomes too lean mixture becomes too lean to burn and the mixture when it has uh, lesser than nine uh, nine uh, units of uh, air um, per uh, unit of uh, fuel then it becomes too rich to burn so uh, obviously this is your stoichiometric value uh, and here it is uh, 19 to 9 is your inflammability limit and we are saying when it is too lean or too rich the mixture is unable to burn so let us see why it is not able to burn so here this is your inflammability limit and on this side it is a richer mixture and here it is a more leaner mixture so too rich to burn means more fuel and less air so you can see over here this is a rich mixture very rich mixture that means uh, in other words more fuel and less air so oxygen molecules available are less obviously more fuel is there but the amount of fuel though it is more it is unable to burn why because the oxygen is less available so here this oxygen will be utilized by the nearby molecules they may burn but the heat produced by burning this particular fuel molecules may not reach up to here to ensure that the fuel molecule in this region is going to burn because there are too many fuel molecules in between and the heat will be insufficient and there are no oxygen molecules to burn this particular fuel molecules and therefore they will not produce any heat in other words the flame is not going to sustain throughout the combustion chamber across from here to here due to unavailability of the oxygen and therefore mixture is unable to burn so when the mixture is too rich it is unable to burn similarly when it comes to too lean side you can see over here we have more fuel, air and less fuel so fuel molecules are less now this particular fuel may be burning by using this oxygen and uh, the heat produced by this uh, burning this particular fuel molecule has to reach the next fuel molecule over here but in between you have so many air molecules and the heat produced by this particular fuel molecule may be absorbed by the air molecules and the heat may not reach up to here even though the oxygen is there this particular fuel molecule is unable to burn because it is not able to get sufficient amount of heat for its burning and therefore in other words we say the flame is unable to sustain and all the fuel molecules are unable to burn so if it is 
too rich, then it is unable to burn. If it is too lean, then also it is unable to learn, burn. And that is where we uh, have the importance of uh, inflammability limit coming into the picture. And therefore, we say while supplying the mixture to the engine, it is essential that the mixture has to be ensured that it is within inflammability limit. That means for a gasoline engine, it has to be between 19 as to 1 to 9 as to 